I had always thought about yoga, but for some reason, I didn't think that it would be demanding enough. You know, I thought that I really needed to go to aerobics class and sweat. Isn't it always the case that one of the better studios is, is located very close to your own home? When I came and committed to the beginner's workshops, that was the first time that I actually got into sort of learning about the flow and the progression of the different poses and had more of the courage to keep trying even though I'm so naturally not good at it. <laughs> decided to start with yoga is it was a recommendation made to me by my massage therapist because I was um, in an accident and I was having a lot of back issues lower and upper back she recommended it that it would help to lengthen out my muscles and hopefully to alleviate some of the pain I was having and most definitely I, I can say that I don't experience any more um, uncomfortable pains the kind of intensity that the yoga class, the first one, gave me, I knew exactly from that moment that this was something that I could pursue. And then I started seeing changes in my body, like fast. I mean, I'm over 50, and I never thought that I would be able to do anything like this. So you have to understand, I'm not like a 20-year-old coming in and going, well, I want to do this, because there are 20-year-olds in the class, and they are incredible. But I'm not one of them. I, I look at where I'm at. I've been working from CDs or books for several years, but I decided to enroll in absolute beginners. Had no prior shame about that because I wanted to learn the correct alignment on the postures. The beginners workshop, everybody walked in, they were all brand new to yoga and uh, it was the perfect way. It was a four class uh, package well worth it and I am so glad I did it that way because I think that with that proper introduction I was able then to go on to classes after that and be more comfortable in a, in a general class. I try to send it down towards the heel of the right foot. Very nice. Listen carefully. Release the hands. Back on the outside of the right foot. The instructors are all different here. Every one of them is excellent and for different reasons, but they really care about the students that show up to the class and they really want to share what they've discovered. This is the beginning of third series. You can just do it like this. Or you can grab your foot and this. Okay. Left hand grab the knee or take the foot and extend. Fill your chest, exhale, and reach for your big toe. If you can't get your toe, get your ankle. Once it's behind your head, it's neck strength. So you want to push your head up. Look up, feel it. Okay, just find your tension point. That was strength. Keep your face relaxed. Even smile. Throughout the whole practice, you know, I'm targeting muscles that I didn't think that I could before. And as I started practicing, other benefits came with practicing yoga. I found that it was a great way to uh, help relieve my stress at the end of the day. I would just become really calm and um, it helped me to focus. And then people were saying, God, you know, you're looking really good. Or Wow, you know, you really seem like, what are you, what are you doing? There's ample evidence that as you get older, it's increasingly important to have weight-bearing exercise so that you can continue to build bone strength. In addition, it's very important to keep your joints, and particularly your spine, supple. Even when it's challenging for me, I, I persevere because I know how important it is. Now a year later, I mean, I can see changes in my arms. I was always worried about that, you know, middle-aged arm thing, you know, and I, I've done weights, I've done everything. Nothing has, has, has changed my body um, the way that this has.